Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, the phloem tissue. Uh, so this is the first part of the phloem transport uh, section. Uh, so the phloem tissue uh, is made up of three different uh, cell types. One is called the uh, sieve tube element. Uh, the other is a companion cell. And the last is the phloem parenchyma. So we're going to have a look at each of these uh, cell types with an emphasis really on the uh, sieve tube elements and the um, companion cells. So um, this is uh, just a reminder really of where the phloem tissue is in the roots. Okay, so the diagram on the left is the roots. Um, and you can see that uh, the phloem tissue uh, is there, sort of uh, amongst the, uh, in between, sorry, the uh, the xylem tissue. Okay, so that's the phloem vessels there. Now, uh, in the leaf, uh, the phloem vessels, or the phloem tissue, sorry, are going to be in that region there. So where number eight is, that would be the uh, the phloem tissue. So we need to go into detail now and look at the structure of uh, initially the sieve tube element and the companion cells. So this is uh, a drawing of uh, those two cell types. Uh, up the top here we've got the uh, companion cells and uh, right next to that are the sieve tube elements. So the sieve tube elements first, um, they join together um, to form the phloem vessel. So the sieve tube elements are the cells of the phloem vessel. Now where two um, sieve tube elements join, you get this structure called a sieve plate. And uh, it has small pores in it, uh, as you can see there. So we've got a sieve plate uh, joining two sieve tube elements together. Now the sieve tube elements are alive, they're living cells and um, they, they're there to transport um, sugars and amino acids. So they need a lumen, all right, and um, the lumen is created by the cytoplasm here being pushed to the sides of the sieve tube element. So uh, there's a narrow cytoplasm uh, giving rise there to a, to a larger lumen. So uh, in the cytoplasm there are uh, some organelles but they're generally not functional um, or sort of underdeveloped or are undergoing uh, degradation. So um, connecting to the companion cell uh, is this sieve area here, uh, made up of plasmodesmata. So the plasmodesmata allows things to transfer from the companion cell uh, into the phloem vessel or the sieve tube elements. So the companion cell then um, it has many organelles, um, it's a very active cell, uh, it's got a full complement of organelles and it's really there to keep the uh, sieve tube elements alive really um, because of the narrow cytoplasm in the sieve elements um, they, they really can't make anything to keep the uh, cell alive so everything comes from the companion cell. So you've got a large nucleus there, you've got the rough and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body there, uh, mitochondria, uh, chloroplasts. So that's what the <coughs> two cell types look like, the companion cell and the sieve tube element as a drawing. Now this drawing uh, is referred to as a longitudinal section. All right, you need to know your orientation of these images. 
uh, for uh, questions. So this is a longitudinal section because it's looking down uh, the tissue. Okay. The other type is a is a cross section, um, and that would look uh, quite different as you'll see shortly. Okay. So uh, you have to um, be able to recognise now this tissue from electron microscope images and uh, light microscope images as well. So here are some electron microscope images to start us off. Uh, this first image here is again a longitudinal section. So is the uh, middle one, that's longitudinal. But the third one is actually a cross section. So you can see the difference there. In cross section you've got more of a circular uh, appearance and in uh, longitudinal you've got sort of rectangular shapes there. So um, here SE stands for sieve tube element. So this is the sieve tube element. Uh, here is actually the sieve plate. Okay, and you've got another sieve plate down there. And uh, to the side you've got the um, companion cells here. Okay, so there's the uh, two cell types in longitudinal section. The middle diagram uh, is showing the sieve plate uh, in more detail. <clears throat> you can see the pores in between uh, the sieve plate there. Uh, to the left again is the companion cell and um, here you can see uh, small amounts of organelles there that are uh, non-functional. Okay, the last image is of the sieve plate. Okay, so you can see the pores there in the sieve plate. So that is what it looks like uh, in a cross section there. Okay, um, next then um, we're going to look at this plasmodesmata that we mentioned earlier. So uh, this diagram here, number one, uh, you've got the companion cell uh, right next to the sieve tube element and the letter P there uh, is labelling the plasmodesmata. Now you can't see it very well in this image but image number two is a magnified view of the plasmodesmata. Now this is something you have to be able to recognise. I've seen it come up in questions. Okay, uh, so these uh, dark lines here, they are the uh, channels that connect the um, companion cell with that of the sieve tube element. All right, and you can uh, you will have substances passing through those channels to go into the uh, um, sieve tube element. <coughs> okay, number three. Um, this is a, a cross-section image of all three cell types. Okay, so we've got the sieve tube element uh, in the middle. Okay, which is there, sieve tube element. Then we've got the companion cell, which is CC. And notice now all the uh, all the organelles in there, the mitochondria, the chloroplasts. Okay, so you've got three in this image. You've got three um, companion cells, and then we have two flow and parenchyma. So the flow and parenchyma is just a packing cell. It has no particular specialized function. Uh, but you can see it does have organelles in it, but far less than what's in the companion cell. And that's because the, the, the flow and parenchyma are not there to produce substances to keep the sieve tube elements alive. Uh, like I say, they're just there for packing out the, um, uh, the rest of the flow and tissue. So there's your cross section of the uh, flow and tissue showing all three cell types. Um, you've got a cross section here 
Number two is a cross section of the plasma desmata. And uh, cell one is a cross section of the sieve tube element and the companion uh, cell. So that's uh, the end of this video. Uh, the next video now we'll look at how uh, the sieve tube elements and the companion cells work uh, to transport substances uh, through the flow, uh, something that we call the mass flow hypothesis. So that's for uh, the next video.